He leads a congregation that is alive and worth the drive due to God's power movement in strange, strong, and supernatural ways. Many are delivered, healed, and receive miracles through gifts of, of the Spirit and the manifested evidence of signs, wonders, and demonstrations. In other words, once you enter through the doors of running feet, as Reverend Washington would say, you will never be the same. Reverend Washington is a son of Pastor and Mrs. Ellis Washington Jr., the older brother of the Sheriff of S. Bryant and the uncle of Ashanti Denise Bryant. Let's give a warm hurricane welcome to our own Georgia Southwestern State University alumni, Reverend Ellis Washington III. All right, I must say it is indeed good to be back here at Georgia Southwestern State University, a place that I called home for two of the four years that I was in undergraduate school. Uh, thank you uh, for the wonderful introduction, and again, thank you all for uh, the opportunity for me to uh, address and speak to you all for just a few moments. Uh, to President Weaver, to members of the administration, faculty and staff, to distinguished alumni, friends and guests, and to the student body of Georgia Southwestern State University, uh, but in particular, the participants of the African American Male Institute program. Again, like I say, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to be before you on this afternoon. As I, as I said, it's also an honor and a privilege to be back here at Georgia Southwestern State University. Uh, for I know that uh, this institution is indeed an institution that is on the driving force for great education and also for a wonderful experience regarding social activities and other aspects that you'll experience throughout the next four years of your life here at Georgia Southwestern State University. Uh, let me thank uh, Mr. Anderson, also known as Mr. A around here. I'm sure you all know me by Mr. A. Uh, thank you for extending this opportunity uh, for me to be able to come back and to impart some uh, good wisdom, uh, good knowledge and good understanding to the student body here. And let me say that the African American Male Institute is indeed a wonderful program uh, for students to be a part of. You will indeed learn a lot in regards to what it will take for you to be prepared not only for this aspect of your life, but also for future aspects of your life as well. So again, thank you, Mr. A, for the invitation. Um, it's good to see two familiar faces uh, that I have seen, especially throughout my tenure here at Georgia Southwestern State University to the Vice President of Student Affairs and Dr. Sam Miller. Um, he was uh, one of my uh, inspirations and one that I would always go to as far as advice and counsel is concerned. So thank you, Dr. Miller, and also I see uh, my fraternity brother and the Reverend Carl Wilson, uh, who is here as well. Uh, thank you, Reverend Wilson, for, for being here and for the support in regards to the oldest and coldest fraternity uh, there is in the world in Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Are there any members of Alpha Phi Alpha here? Uh, are there any brothers uh, that, that are part of Alpha Phi Alpha that are here? If not, then uh, just know that uh, your presence and your appreciation is well uh, appreciated and it is. Uh, thankful for you to be here uh, in that regards. Well, this afternoon I have been tasked with the responsibility of making a few remarks uh, on the topic, making the right decisions in college. Now, knowing the position and status that I hold as a minister, and knowing how I'm able to read a crowd, uh, I am well aware of how long I should speak on any particular subject matter uh, based upon the body language that um, is given on a continual basis. And from reading the body language, I'm going to make sure that I make my remarks as just as quick, fast, and in a hurry as possible. Uh, that, that should be a laugh part right there. You should laugh right there. <laughs> yes, ha, 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 very funny. I guess it was uh, one of those uh, dead jokes. 
<laughs> but nonetheless, um, it is my intent to apply that same focus uh, here today in regards to uh, the group of listeners that are here. Uh, but nevertheless, within the few minutes that I do have, uh, I do want to leave with you some words of encouragement, knowledge, and wisdom that will help everyone along the journey that is called life. Now, when I was asked by Mr. Anderson to address uh, this group of people on this day uh, on the theme of making the right decisions in college, my mind immediately took me back to a quote that I remember reading in a Spanish class during my sophomore year in high school. Uh, this quote, which was posted vividly and in bold letters on a bulletin board on the, in the back of the classroom, is one of the many sayings that I live by even today. The anonymous quote that was in the back of the classroom simply says, the choices we make today will affect the outcomes of tomorrow. The choices we make today will affect the outcomes of tomorrow. Now, when I reflect back on that posted quote in the back of my old high school classroom, I really did not pay attention nor focus at first glance on the meaning and significance behind that statement. Uh, quite frankly, to be honest with you, I was worried about a number of other things, including chasing girls and, and trying to be a part of the marching band or this, that, and the third, but I really wasn't focused on the significance and the meaning behind such a quote. Uh, but as time went on, as, as I uh, went throughout the remaining years of high school and, and throughout uh, years in college and graduate school, as well as dealing with the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows, and the successes and failures within life, I came to the realization that the posted quote within the back of that same classroom was so true back then as it is today. For you see, ladies and gentlemen, life as we know it is filled with many choices and decisions. For you see, making choices and decisions are a part of everyday life. The choices and the decisions that we make today will have a great effect on both our individual and collective lives. In other words, the choice that you make right now will not only impact you at this moment, but it will impact you five, 10, 15, 20 years, quite frankly, it will impact you for the rest of your life. See, when it comes to choices and when it comes to decisions, some choices, quite frankly, are easy to make, such as what color socks you want to wear, or what do you want to eat for breakfast or for lunch or for dinner? Uh, what if you want to buy Colgate or Crest for uh, toothpaste? Uh, on the other hand, some decisions are not so easy to make, such as do you want to rent or buy a home? Uh, do, uh, who do you want to marry or not to marry? And in the case of being college students, do you want to go to college or join the armed forces or enter the workforce? In essence, life is filled with many choices and decisions. So knowing that life is filled with many choices and decisions, we should always be cautious and learn valuable lessons from each choice and decision that we make, whether big or whether small. In other words, we must encounter choices that have to be made on an everyday continual basis. In other words, you will make choices that will affect not only you, but you'll make choices that will affect other people around you as well. Now don't think that the choices that you make, that the decisions that you make will just impact you because guess what? They will impact not only other people, but quite frankly can impact an entire society and the world. Think for example, uh, if you ever have the opportunity to, to be elected into public office, for example. Uh, we'll just use the, the presidency of the United States, for example. Uh, the President of the United States makes important decisions that will impact and that will affect an entire nation, if not the world. 
In other words, if the president makes a uh, wise decision, then it will have a positive effect on the country. But if the president makes a not so wise decision, it will have possible negative effect or negative impact, not only on the nation, uh, but the world. And I say this not just because of the current occupant of the White House, but I say this with any president throughout the history of our nation. Decisions have had to be made that quite frankly affected a nation and affected the world. And same, same can be said as far as the students that are here at Georgia Southwest State University. The decisions that you will make within the next four years, some of you are seniors, some of you are juniors, sophomores, freshmen, some may be graduate students. The decisions that you're making right now will affect how your life will go for the rest of your life. Now some may be saying, well, Reverend Washington, I've made uh, some uh, not so good choices, some not so good decisions, and, and it's affecting me right now. Well, guess what? You have the ability to change the direction right now. So say, for example, if you're not doing so well in classes, one of the top, one of the top subtopics is academics. Say, for example, that you're not doing so well in classes, per se, and you know good time and well that you want to make a change or you want to make a difference as far as how your academic career turns up. Well, guess what? You have the ability right now, on this date, October the 3rd, to make the change right here and right now. For I'm a firm believer that when it comes to education, that education, a superior education, is the passport to freedom and the ticket to success. Each and every one that is within this administration building today, you determine the course of your destiny. You determine how your life, you determine how your college career will go. One way is through academics. Another way is through social life. Another way is through friends. In other words, the people who you choose to associate yourselves with will have a major influence and major impact on your life. Think about the people that you hang out with on a daily continual basis. Are they positive role models? Are they positive people within your life? Are they able to help you to get to the next level that you so desire to go in life? If the answer is yes, then stick with them. But if the answer is no, then you may want to consider making some changes. See, in making right decisions regarding college and life in general, you've got to make some tough choices whether you want to make them or not. Quite frankly, circumstances and life events will cause you to make some changes. It will cause you to make some decisions that you will have to face. Like I said, with social life and with friends, you may have to leave some people behind. But guess what? It will be for your better good. Not only regarding academics, not only regarding social life and friends, but also in regards to participating in organizations. One of the best decisions that I made as a student here at Georgia Southwestern State University was becoming a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. One of the best decisions that I ever made. And let me say to those who are members of Greek letter organizations, I applaud you for making that decision. Not only regarding Greek letter organizations or any organization in general, if you are involved in some sort of club or some sort of organization like the AAMI, or SWAB, or BOLD. Does not matter what kind of organization you're part of. If it is making a positive impact on your life, then make sure you do what is necessary to be actively involved and make sure that you're able to make a positive change within the organization. See, it's good to be a part of organizations because you get to meet other people. You get to communicate with people who may be like you and may be different from you. See, sometimes in life, we are afraid to make choices and decisions because we wonder how other people will think about us. We wonder how someone will think this way or some will think that way. Sometimes you've got to make decisions in your life and really don't care what other folks say. 
because it is your life that you're worried about. It is your life that you have to be concerned with. Yes, it's important to be concerned about others, but at the end of the day, when you go to bed each morning and when you arise from sleep every morning, you've got to be concerned about you, yourself, and I. In other words, you've got choices that you have to make every single day. Choices that will have positive and negative outcomes within your life. I'm, like I said, I'm very thankful for some of the choices that I've made in life. And I'll, I'll admit, there are some choices that I've made that I'm not proud of. There are some choices that I've made that I wish that I would have done differently. Even as an undergrad, there are some choices that I've made that I wish that could have been changed for the better. But see, in making choices and making decisions, if you know that you're going the wrong direction, you can make that change. It can happen. You've just got to believe and know that you can do it. The bottom line is this, is that you are future leaders within this world. Every single person in here is a future leader. The decision that you will make right now will determine how far you will go within life. There are some that are within this room that are future doctors. There are some that are within this room that are future lawyers. There are some that are within this room that are future educators. There are some within this room that will be the next Odell Beckham Jr. There are some within this room that will be the next Stephen Curry. There are some that are within this room that will be the next Serena Williams. There are some that are within this room that will be the next Roger Federer. There are some within this room that will be the next president of the United States or even the first female president of the United States. The sky is the limit. All you have to do is make those choices, make those decisions, make things happen within your life. Don't be afraid to make those decisions. Don't be afraid to make those choices. Because if you're afraid, you'll never make a decision. See, sometimes the reason why we make choices or we don't make choices because we're afraid of how the outcome will be. Sometimes you just got to, and as a minister I can say this, you sometimes have to take a step of faith and try. See, sometimes, and yes, you will fall, you will fail, but guess what? If you get right back up and try again, you will be, to, you'll be bound to succeed soon or later. I've never seen anyone who did not try succeed. Some of the most influential people within the world have failed. I think of one in particular. I think of this individual who ran for Congress on numerous occasions. He was successful one time but only served one term and he lost. And then he decided that he would run for the U.S. Senate in the state of Illinois. Unfortunately, he was unsuccessful in becoming a United States Senator, but he ran for president and was elected president. And he presided over the most turbulent time within the history of our country. President Abraham Lincoln, he could have given up on many occasions. But he made right choices and he made right decisions. And it kept him moving forward to a point that he is regarded as one of America's greatest presidents of all time. See, he could have stopped when he didn't win re-election to the United States House of Representatives. He could have stopped when he did not win the U.S. Senate seat in Illinois. But he kept pressing forward and he won the presidency in 1860 and then again re-election in 1864. He was determined to make a positive impact within the world. He made right choices. He made right decisions within his life. And the same for you all. Make right choices. Make right decisions. It will help you along the way. But also in making right choices and right decisions, and, and this will be the last point that I will make, 
Don't be afraid to ask for help. See, sometimes when we make choices, when we make decisions in life, we're afraid to ask people for help or assistance. To be honest with you, it's good to seek the advice and counsel of those who have gone before you. Because guess what? They have experienced what you're trying to go through right now. If there's one person that I'm appreciative of more than anything else within my life is my father. My father is also a minister, also a pastor. And I consult with him from time to time in regards to various trials and tribulations and successes and failures that he's experienced as a pastor. And he has advised me some of the decisions that he's made, good, bad, or indifferent. But see, by me consulting with my father, I'm able myself to, to look for those decisions that may not be beneficial to me. I know how to avert from them because of the wisdom and the advice and the counsel that I received from my father. There are people within your lives, young people, who are there for reasons. They're not there just to, to tell you what to do and how to do. They're there simply to advise and counsel you because they see greater that is within you that you may not see within yourselves. Every single person in here is great. The decisions that you will make will be great decisions. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not able to be anything or anybody within the world. You can be any and everything that you want to be, but you've got to make the right choices You've got to make the right decisions. You've got to do so from an academic standpoint. You've got to do so from a social and friendship standpoint. And you've got to do so through an organizational standpoint. But you also have to do it by seeking good advice and good counsel. If you do those things, I can guarantee you, you will be successful in life. You may not graduate summa cum laude. You may not graduate magna cum laude or cum laude. You may not graduate with all superlatives and honors and everything like that, but if you make right decisions, if you make right choices, then you will be successful in life. You will be. I see success in every single person that I'm speaking to right now. You will not only be successful within your life, but you'll make a positive impact on the campus of Georgia Southwestern State University. So I say to you today, the choices that you make today will indeed have a positive effect on the outcomes of tomorrow. Make the right choices. Make the right decisions. Be a positive force. Be a positive change within this world. Because I believe in you, but most importantly, you ought to believe within yourselves. Thank you for your time.